Darkwood presents. Welcome to the pod. A commission for Lux Thunderbelly. Featuring voice work by Void Slut. I see you're finally awake. Good. Huh? H- hello? I- is someone there? Greetings. <laughs> what the fuck? Mark, is it? Apologies for rendering you unconscious. I am Darkwit, though I'm sure you also know that as we've conversed online already. Uh, yeah, I I remember you. Nice to, um, finally meet you. Likewise. Hmm, you're much stockier than I was expecting. Lift Mm. up your arms. Let's see. Okay. Good. You'll do nicely. Thanks for the compliment, I guess. Hey, questions. Where are we? And why did you have one of your giant sea wolves knock me out? What the frick might I add? Is that why you were bleeding? Oh dear. <laughs> Terribly sorry about that. That one's been experiencing behavioral complications lately. I will endeavor to fix it later. Please do. Ow. All right. To answer all of your questions, this is my drone facility. Its location is classified, which is why I had my Orca drone knock you out. We can't have you running off and gabbing elsewhere, but I have a feeling that that's not going to be a problem considering you are currently bound to that table. Do you remember why you're here? Why I'm here? Yeah. I, I do. I, I saw your advertisement for drone conversion on the dark web. I, I clicked on the link and it brought me to your website. Correct. So, good news is you haven't suffered from any head trauma. And why did you go to the website? Because I... I... Uh, uh, I uh... You wish to be one of my orca drones. We've been messaging for a while now, and you recently signed the contract to be assimilated. Unless, of course, I was mistaken. No. I, I know what I signed up for. I, I want this. Why is that, Mark? Because all my life I've been alone. Lost my parents at five. Couldn't make friends. I wanted to be a part of something my whole life. When I learned of this, I felt like I could finally have that family I've wanted. Hmm. I see. Well, that sounds like a good enough reason to me. I'd be more than happy to help you fit in with the pod, but we're going to have to make some substantial changes before we do. (sighs) Thank you, Mr. Darkwood. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Now then, since you're clearly eager, Let's get started. Record log. Recording assimilation session 1405. Commencing drone assimilation procedure. Initial appraisal. Subject is Mark Booth, age 20, 6 feet tall, 200 pounds. Subject is willing, which will help expedite the process. This is the implant I'm going to be installing into your brain. It's how I communicate with the drones, and it's how you will be maintaining a cohesive connection with them as well. Once you've been transformed, of course. I'm sorry? That's going into my what now? This implant will be installed into the base of your brainstem. Relax. It's painless. You won't even feel it. Now hold still. (laughs) There. See? Not so bad. The implant will turn on in a few seconds, and you'll soon be in the pod network. Up next, we'll be attaching your visual HUD with a built-in interface. This is how you'll be able to see and perceive everything around you, because one of the major features of the drones is they don't have external sensory input. It's all filtered. So, please keep your head still. What's with the whale sounds? That's drone speak. Uh, They're orca sounds. They help make the subjects feel more relaxed during the process. They tell me it's a very 
comfortable sensation hearing the calls. Take a moment to listen. And the sounds that echo, they may be ethereal and almost otherworldly at first, but in time you'll begin to understand how they speak, how they communicate. There's idiosyncrasies to their language. Or so I'm told. Hmm. You're right. It's actually pretty soothing. Really soothing. Like I'm being carried away by... the pod. The pod. Oh. Seems you're enjoying yourself. Mm, quite a bit, if I may say so. You see, you're a little bit more eager than I thought you would be. Huh? Oh, I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't even realize I was... Shh, 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 shh. No, 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 no. Don't worry about it. That happens with all the subjects. It just means that you're ready. Drone 448, enter. Uh, 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 the holy... Hunk. <laughs> this is Drone 448. They will be performing your assimilation. You look... Um, like, wow, wow. I'll release um, you from your bindings and we can begin. Oh, I... I, I, I um, Don't you, worry. You, I will be on the other side of the observation panel. Have fun, boys. Uh... uh hi, hi there. I'm, um, I'm Mark. Nice to meet you. So I guess this is it, huh, big guy? So how does this work? Oh, what would we gonna... Oh. Thank <laughs> you. 
finished. I hope you had fun, Mark. Ah, right. Mark no longer exists. Isn't that right? It feels so good, doesn't it? Loss of free will, completely devoid of personality and individuality. No recollection at all of who you once were and no concern of what it might have been. But most of all, the feeling of being no, no release. No satisfaction, just a round, locked-down mound. Endowed yet formless, yearning for the sweet feeling of release, but no hope for it. Simply nullified. <laughs> Very good. Now, you exist to serve me as a large, muscular, faceless rubber drone. Just another cog in the machine. Subject Mark Booth has been successfully assimilated. Labeling subject as Drone 1405. Log to erase all official records of Mark Booth at the end of the day. Okay. Good job on your assimilation. Let's put you to work immediately. I bet you're eager to meet the rest of your family, yes? Good boy. 1405448. You will both be assigned to Pod L, who are currently working security in Subject Containment Wing. Directives are to keep subjects in containment till they are ready to undergo assimilation. If they try to flee, go ahead and welcome them into the pod yourselves. Initiate. Oh, and 1405, welcome to the pod. Enjoy your new life. <laughs> 